Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games is a 2009 sports and party game developed by Sega. Like its predecessor, it was published by Nintendo for Japan and by Sega for North America and Europe. The game is officially licensed by the International Olympic Committee through exclusive license International Sports Multimedia. The game is the third official crossover title to feature characters from both Mario and Sonic's respective universes, the first and second being the game's predecessor Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games and Super Smash Bros. Brawl respectively. It was released on the Wii and the Nintendo DS handheld in November, December 2009, and is the first official video game of the 2010 Winter Olympic Games. Mario and Sonic on the Wii and DS is a collection of events based on the Olympic Winter Games. Players can assume the role of a Mario or Sonic character while competing against the others in these events. The game features all of the playable characters that were present in its predecessor, as well as four new characters. A third installment, named Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games, was released for the Wii on November 15, 2011 and on the 3DS in February 2012. Topic gameplay Mario and Sonic at the Vancouver 2010 Olympic Winter Games retains the gameplay mechanics of its predecessor, controlling an on-screen character through authentic Olympic events with the specific tailored controls for the Wii and DS. Unlike its predecessor, some of the events in the Wii game can use the balance board accessory, but it is not a requirement. All of the playable characters from the previous game return in addition to four new characters. It has been announced via the Nintendo Channel, that this game will have Wii Connect 24 capability and the player can use their MIIs in-game. A new feature added to the player's Mi is the ability to customize the Mi's clothes. The sequel introduces a festival mode in the Wii version that allows the player to make their way through the entire Olympic Games, from opening ceremony to closure. The multiplayer mode offers co-op and competitive gameplay, whereas the DS version will use its wireless capabilities. The DS counterpart has Adventure Tours where players can accept quests and challenge bosses and to stop Dr. Eggman and Bowser before they can stop the Olympics by kidnapping the Snow Spirits. DS download play is possible for those without an individual copy of the game. Topic development In January 2009, a rumor from Spanish Nintendo magazine Nintendo Acción mentioned a sequel to Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games would be created for the 2010 Winter Olympics. Both IGN and Eurogamer received confirmation on the game's existence, with IGN stating the game will be announced within the following month. Dennis Kim, licensing and merchandising director for the event, stated in February that a Mario and Sonic title is being discussed and planned for Vancouver. Kim also stated Vancouver 2010 and the IOC will share royalties from this game. In the same month, the sequel titled Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games was officially announced via a joint press release by Sega and Nintendo on February 12, 2009. The game was announced as being developed by Sega Japan under the supervision of Shigeru Miyamoto. This title is the third video game collaboration between Nintendo and Sega. According to gaming site IGN, development began immediately after the initial Olympic game was released in November 2007, an iPhone OS app version was released in January 2010 by Sega. Due to only containing Sonic characters, the game is simply titled Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Topic reception The Wii version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games received a generally positive reaction from critics. The Wii version had a higher score than the DS version. GameRankings lists the average scores as 77.86% for the Wii version and 70.95% for the DS. IGN said of the Wii version that most of the events also use a whole lot of waggle or over-exaggerated remote tilt where controls could have made for a better experience, giving the DS game a 6.5. X Play's Adam Sessler asserted that the Wii version of the game is not that hard and the events interesting, but he claimed that the controls are too easy, despite praising the Dream events. Accordingly, he gave it a 3 out of 5. GameSpot agreed, criticizing the uninteresting mission objectives in the DS version. Nintendo Power was very disappointed that players can still use Wi-Fi only for worldwide rankings. No online play is available. Game trailers also gave the Wii game a 5.2, criticizing the hit and miss motion controls. 
GamePro agreed, stating that where the original had a sense of novelty and charm, the sequel feels a little dated and tired. GamesMaster praised the game, saying that it justifies the hype. Eurogamer also praised the game, stating that it's true to say that Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games is no Mario Kart. But it's a fun, polished party game with broad appeal, and a marked improvement over the previous one. GamerVision praised the game also, stating that Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games isn't going to surprise anyone with its gameplay, graphics, controls, or concept, but it's a perfectly serviceable party game for the Wii. Nintendo Life praised the events of the game, giving it a 9 tenths. IGN called the Wii version impressive, giving it a 7.5.by December 31, 2009. The game had sold approximately 5.67 million copies, making it Sega's best-selling game in the fiscal year starting that March. Topic Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games Soniku at Banku Ba Orenpiku, Soniku Ato Banku Ba Orenpiku, lit. Sonic at the Vancouver Olympics is a sports game developed by Venon Entertainment and published by Sega for iOS. It was released on January 30, 2010, but has since been unexpectedly removed from the App Store with no comment by Sega or Apple. The game is officially licensed by the International Olympic Committee through exclusive license International Sports Multimedia, and takes place at the 2010 Winter Olympics. Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games follows the release of the similarly titled Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games with similar gameplay and setting, but with the absence of Nintendo-owned characters. In comparison, the game also features fewer events, fewer characters, and fewer modes. It received moderate reviews, exemplified with a 5 out of 10 rating from IGN. <laughs> Notes <laughs>